I ordered some glass uh, to replace broken panes in my greenhouse and they all seemed to fit nice and snugly until I got towards the end of the run and then it was clear that uh, I was getting some give in the aluminium structure in order to get the panes in and I get towards the end I can't get the glass in so I have to take a, a quarter of an inch off of this uh, strip of glass here and the tools to do this are pretty simple um, the glass cutter this is called a Yota glass cutter uh, it's got an oil reservoir uh, in the middle you take the the end off and fill it with oil I've just put three-in-one multi-purpose oil in there I'm sure Castrol or Mobil or Texaco will do a, a specific oil at uh, ten times the price um, importantly it's got this little hammer on the end perfectly weighted and the reason that's important is because we're going to make a a score along the glass and then the process for getting a thin strip of glass off is to tap it from underneath and create a crack and tease the crack all the way along so that's what we'll do now to make life a little bit simpler I've got uh, a workbench here with a, a couple of screws that allow me to uh, press this rule or this um, spirit level against the uh, screws to keep it steady while I score a tight line against the glass. Um, try and get a good cut all in one go. If you miss a little bit out then don't move the rule, don't move the glass, just score again and make sure you've got one contiguous cut. Now there is a, there is a bit of a rebate on, on this cutter so I made allowances for that uh, where I set the rule. That's a pretty good cut. Next step is to put on a pair of gloves and move the glass carefully over the edge of the workbench and try and align it so that the, as you can use the bench as a guide for the hammer, make sure that the, the hammer strikes just under the centre of the score that you've made. And then just start tapping by putting pressure downwards on the outer edge here. So I'm pressing down on this outer edge, the score's here, and the hammer's coming from underneath. Now, I'm not sure you can see, but I've started a crack there. Let me zoom in and see if you can see the crack that's been started. Is that in focus? I don't know, let me check. Yeah, it should be fine. I think you can see it there. The crack has just started here. And the, uh, the object is to use the hammer to tease that crack all the way along underneath the score that you've made by putting pressure on the top at the same time. I might have to zoom out so you can get a better view of this. <laughs> now remember I'm using the uh, bench as a guide for the hammer which should put the hammer directly under the cut. This is a run of about 30 inches. Right, now let's see if we can get this on shot. You can use a pair of uh, flared jaw uh, pliers uh, to pick it off, either in one go or in piece by piece, but really that should be enough with a pair of gloves to, to snap this thing off. 
Ah, there it comes. Uh, pretty straightforward. Hope you found that useful. Um, if you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give us a thumbs up.